Sometimes your device is so close to being full and you have no idea which folder is bigger than which. Where is all that data going to? The easiest way is to right click each folder and click properties. Windows will calculate the size of the folder and will display it like this. You could even see how much this folder actually uses on your disk. But what if you don't want to do it one by one? What if you want to get all the sizes of all the folders in one easy to view list? Let me show you a tool that is free and easy to use that does exactly that. Open this website. The link is in the video description below and click the free download button to get started. This will lead you to a page that shows a quick view of the difference between the different versions. If you scroll down and click this link, you'll get a page that compares in depth all the differences between the versions of this tool. This version is free and the others might worth your investment. Review the list and click the download button. Choose either the installer or the portable version and click here. Click continue to proceed. Once the download is complete, click here to open the file. Proceed with the installation, review and accept the agreement, choose the installation path, choose any of these options and proceed. Once the installation is complete, you will be presented with these options. Now before you click finish, check out these two options. This one will simply run the application and this one will run it as an administrator. It's important to use this option to get the sizes of system folders and other restricted folders. Make your choice and click finish. The application immediately calculates the size of all the folders on your chosen disk and displays them in a descending order. Please subscribe. You can click any of these to drill down one level and see the size of the folders inside that specific folder. Hovering over any folder shows additional information such as attributes, compression rate and more. Clicking here allows you to choose a different disk to scan. This button will refresh the view and display the results in case you deleted files while this application was already running. Right clicking any file or folder will display a context menu from which you can delete the selected item. Here you can choose the measurement unit to display information. And this button will automatically expand the folders to the requested level. The rest of these tabs have additional options which you could discover on your own. I am not affiliated with this software. It is just something that I use because I think it's very efficient, works well and is quite fast. To see more videos like this, check out this one next.